One of the things we're interested in looking at in our research lab are algorithms that do 3D object recognition and 3D gesture recognition and then combine everyday real world objects with interactive content. So in our latest project, which is based on Lego toys, how fun is that? We have, for example, a little dragon. And what do we mean by interactive? Well, if we put the dragon down, the camera system recognizes the 3D model of the dragon, and then of course dragons roar and breathe fire. So we actually have sound effects and projected special effects for the dragon. If I move a house into my scene, the camera system again recognizes the house using 3D object recognition algorithms. It projects down a street, which is the way it tells me it's recognized the house and given me a street. And now, as you might imagine, if you combine fire-breathing dragon with a house, which is a potentially flammable object, the house catches fire. Now, it turns out that kids do this stuff in, in real Lego playing world. But also being Lego playing world, fire engine objects, so we can have a happy ending. So again, the fire engine in the scene allows the camera system to recognize the fire engine. We can hear its sirens as it's approaching. If we back the fire engine up to the house, we're detecting which objects are close. And now the fire engine hose puts out the fire on the house, so there's a happy ending. So we're not only detecting the individual objects and attaching behaviors to the objects, but we're also detecting objects that are closer together or further apart and associating new behaviors with the fact that certain objects when they get close together can interact and have behavior. We're running object recognition along uh, multiple different features in real time as well as using this um, 3D camera to track gestures. So one thing we can do with this system is create a rich um, digital environment to surround a um, physical toy. So right here we have a train made out of Lego, which we can put down, and um, the camera system picks it up, recognizes it, and gives us um, a little icon on the front here to make train tracks for it. So we can drag this around, and as we do that, it drops some train tracks down. There's trees and landscapes and flowers, some cows and pigs, um, you know, a nice little environment we can play in here. And you know you can go and play around with it, do that kind of thing. But we also can give you um, digital versions of physical toys which you might not have or might not have built. So in this case, since it's a train, you can have a train station where you touch this little icon and you get a train station outline which you can drag around and drop it where you want it to go. And then this still has some uh, digital properties tied to it. So if you tie, if you pull your train up to the train station, people come out of the station, they embark, disembark, and go around. So you get that nice combination of the digital properties and the 